Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Sebi Kazmi. Gail Mega was a 29 years old Irish woman working and living in Australia who was raped and murdered while walking home from a pub in Brunswick an inner suburb of Melbourne Victoria in the early hours of 22nd of September 2012 and only minutes away from home where she lived with her husband she was walking home from the work party and she was wearing appropriate clothing and was with a group of friends just shortly before the incident took place Adrian Ernest Bailey pleaded guilty to Megha's rape and murder in April 2013. He had raped other women before the murder of Gail Megha, but those women did not report it to the police and they had been raped previously. Now, Australian statistics says that Australia has one of the highest rate of reported sexual assault and rape in the world. About 92 people per 100,000 people. It's 15 to 25% rapes do not get reported. If you look at the USACC 2016 National Crime Victimization Survey says which measures and sexual assaults and rape that have not been reported to the police estimated that there are 431,840 incidents of rape sexual assault in 2015 five years ago remember that France more than 1 in 10 French women have been raped at least once 12% of the 2167 women polled by the foundation Jean Jos Think Tank France in 2018 reports of rapes increased nearly 17% from 2017 to 2018 according to New York Times India 33,3566 cases were reported in India in 2018 according to National Crimes Bureau reports and there are reported cases remember Recently 86 years old women cases just a fresh news and we are not talking about the unreported cases. Now my heart goes for the women, kids and anyone who goes through with this traumatic situation in life. No one no one deserve to be raped. You should be able to wear whatever you want, travel alone, go with someone no male female deserve this. These culprits should be dealt with the heavy hands of the police. Even capital punishment should be allowed in my views. Under no circumstances should you mention that this issue is only happening in the country Pakistan. In fact, these type of vicious crimes are very low in numbers when it comes to the Muslim countries like Pakistan or any other country. You can check the ranking list of the countries 2020 Pakistan's name is not even there. Now if you look at the Pakistan's number having said that we do have these crimes as like in any other countries any other societies in the world now we are heading to the FAT a financial action task force case so stop the propaganda with this nonsense as there are no rules in the country stop repeating over and over over and over cpo cpo as we know all of a sudden this cpo is a target and it is a political game Your social media pressure can create more pressure on police and the justice system which will result in can jeopardize the investigation and can bring some innocent in trouble as police will try to show their performance so sit back let them work and inshallah these culprits will get justice stop doing things for likes fan base and twitter followers that's enough is enough you are not helping actually you're just being a part of this political propaganda